Hello everyone, I'm Ben and in this video we're going to be using Blender to create some dreamy clouds. I'm using Blender 2.9 but anything up from 2.83 will work as that's when they introduce support for OpenVDBs. And OpenVDBs are the, the sparse voxel database um, that can be used to create these great gaseous phenomena like fog, clouds, fire, explosions. and they, they're basically made up like you imagine a Minecraft world with lots of little cubes and each one of those has a property. In this case, we're only looking at density, but in fire and flame objects, they'll have things like flame and temperature. Okay, let's get into it. So first of all, I'm going to press Shift A and choose Volume, Import VDB. And then I'm going to go down and choose Blender Clouds. And I've got a hoop cloud here. You can grab this one from the description if you like, or the Ambergen uh, link in the description also has some VDBs that can be downloaded. And Embergen is a real-time effects generator, so I highly recommend checking it out. Another really good option is Houdini if you're looking to create VDBs. And I'll leave that there and just say import. All right, let's get rid of this trusty old cube. So here it is, and it's looking quite gray. So I'm just going to set my viewport shading to rendering and change my render engine from EV to Cycles. All of a sudden it's looking a lot more cloud-like, but perhaps a little dark. So what I'm going to do is select the cloud, come down to the material properties and add a new material. Now because this is a volumetric cloud, I would like to focus on the volume. Now, I'm not interested in the surface. So I'll go down to volume, see that it's a principled volume. That's great. And make sure that my color is just fully white for the time being. And so I can see that uh, this is looking better. So I'm going to turn off my overlays. I like that, but uh, let's add some color into the world to get a better feel for it. So I'm going to come down to my world properties and under color, just change it to an environment texture. That's not quite the color that I had in mind, but uh, let's go and say open. I'm going to grab an HDR called um, Kiara Dawn from HDRI Haven. Uh, you can grab the, the link from the description to this one, and that's just going to take a moment. And I'm liking it. I'm just going to get into a bit more of a looking towards the sky view. So maybe something like so. And let that go for just a moment. And first thing that I'm noticing is that it's quite dark in kind of the, the crevices of these forms of the cloud. And if I look to the, the surrounding clouds, they really take in a lot of the environment light and pass that through the cloud. So we can mimic that if we go over to our render properties, come down to light paths and under max bounces, you can see we've got it capped at 12. And we're not really interested in these ones. We're just interested in the volume. So let's take that up to 12. And all of a sudden we're passing in a lot more light into this actual volume and having it bounce around. So it's well illuminated now and should be carrying some additional color information in there for us. And it, and it is, so, you know, looking at this, I'm starting to think this is quite nice, but it's perhaps a little bit too blue. Um, and I, I'm looking at these clouds over here and they've got this nice kind of warm peachy gold yellow color out the front. So I'd like to bring in some of that into my cloud. Um, so I'm gonna come down to the material and under color, I'm just going to select it and move this hue down a little bit towards in this direction, the warmer direction. So I'll set it to 0 0.094 and the saturation when it updates to 0.048. So I'd recommend playing around with values and finding ones that you like. And uh, I'm just going to let that one render. You've got to be patient with these volumes. <laughs> There's no way around it at this stage. Okay. I hope that helps and I'll see you in another video.